What is up everybody? Welcome back to Blue Collar Bassin TV. Guys, today I'm going to show you how to make these rope lures. That way you can go out and catch some big gar and you don't even have to worry about a hook. These do not use a hook at all. If you know anything about spotted gar, which is what we're going after, you know that they have little bitty teeth, little bitty teeth that are going to get tangled up in this and you don't even need a hook because you got this rope right here. So stay tuned, hit that like button, subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to make these rope lures to get you catching some gar. So guys, what you need to do is head out to Walmart or your local hardware store and find some nylon rope. So this package that I found this in is called Fender Line. All right, so I found it in the boating section at Walmart, and all it is is a nylon rope that has really small fibers. That way those gar can get their teeth hung in it. All right, so the first style I'm gonna show you, and I think this is gonna be the preferred style. I made these right here, and they look cool. All you do is you, you burn the end of it here to kind of make it hard, that way the line doesn't cut through it. I'll show you how to make these, but this is gonna be, I think, the preferred method. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So what we're gonna do it's going to give the, the gar more to bite down onto because you're doubling up the line here. And also, you're kind of making a loop right here. That way the line has something to, you know, pull against. With these, you kind of have to make your own little hole and everything in the head of it here. I don't know if you can see that. To make your line go through it. Then you still run the risk of that pulling right through. All right, so... What you wanna do is double up that line, make it about four to six inches long, and I would say this is probably about six inches, and that's gonna give those gar the most possibility to get hooked up. All right, just take your scissors and we're cutting that. All right, so you have your rope. All right, we doubled it up. Right, make sure they're even. So what we're gonna do now, we want to weld this together on itself. So what you're gonna do is grab a lighter, and where this is nylon, this is gonna melt onto itself. So all I'm doing is kind of melting the insides here where I want it to stick. Now I don't wanna burn it too much, I just want it to make a little bitty pairing here. I'm gonna stick it together. Just like that. Give you a nice loop to tie your line through. And I know a lot of people, they actually use like a hook or something, they'll stick through here. Guys, we're going completely hookless. We're gonna tie the braid straight to this. Okay, the next thing all you have to do is pretty much unravel all the different fibers. Because this is woven together. And you're just fraying these things out. But honestly, this is all, this is good enough. All right, this is definitely good enough to get you going. And a lot of people, they'll take a hairbrush and brush these fibers out. And this is something you really wanna do is, is take that hairbrush with you. That way, you know, after you catch a fish or whatever, you, you can brush it back out because it will get pretty messed up after you catch one a lot of times. Cause you're gonna have to dig out all these fibers from their teeth. And you know, a lot of times I'll just take my pliers and just kind of work it around its teeth and uh, pull it out. So, I mean, it is kind of time consuming in a way to pull those fibers back out of their teeth. But hey, it's kind of what you're going to do uh, unless you're, you're going to kill them. I know a lot of places, you know, especially here in Missouri, they're an invasive species. So a lot of people just go ahead and kill those gar, okay? Not alligator gar. And we're talking about spotted gar, okay? So my river doesn't have alligator gar. You know, if you are fishing alligator gar, a lot of people don't like these because if you were to break off and this rope is still hung in that alligator gar's mouth, a lot of times that, that alligator gar could starve to death, okay, if it can't open its mouth. But uh, with these spotted gar, I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, they're evasive species. They kind of mess a lot of things up on your river system, so it's not gonna hurt them if they do starve to death, okay? 
Um, don't get mad at me if I said that, whatever. If you're a super big fish lover, whatever. When we go out, we're actually gonna just release them back into the water. And that way, you know, there's a lot of guys who bow fish these spots that I'm going to. So I'll leave those there for those guys if they wanna go out and shoot them. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna release them back into the water. But guys, this is what it looks like. This is the first style that we made. And like I said, this is gonna give you the most room for those gar to bite down and actually get their teeth stuck in it. The second method, we're gonna make one that looks like this. So what you're gonna do is if you have a brand new piece of rope or whatever, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this end that's frayed out. I'm gonna go ahead and burn it. And what I like to do instead of it just flaring back out, I kinda like to mush those fibers back down to make it you know, as skinny as possible. All right, see how I, it pretty much kept the same diameter here. All right, after that, what you're gonna do is whatever length you want it, let's say you want it to be six inches again. We'll go down here. We'll just cut it off. All right, we gotta cut that off and that's gonna be the tail end that we're gonna fray out. But first, we're gonna work on making this uh, top piece. And all we're gonna do is kinda just burn this a little bit. We're kinda just making, I guess, a hard exterior for the line, so we're just burning this outside layer. And I don't wanna melt through it. We're just kinda making it crispy in a way. I would say we'll do that for about the first two inches of this rope. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna allow us to make our little line hole and also it's gonna give us something for the line to you know, pull against so it's not gonna pull straight out through the nylon rope here. You know, on those other lures, you know, I kind of burned it a little bit. You know, it ended up being black up here. You know, it's whatever. It doesn't have to be perfectly white. You know, if you end up burning the rope, it's whatever. These, these gar, in my experience, they're not too picky about what it looks like. I've been out fishing and those gars go after pretty much every single bait. Thing is, their teeth are so small, they can't get hooked on anything. So unless you have super small treble hooks, like on your jerk bait, you're not gonna catch one in most cases. All right, so we have this top piece all hardened up here. It's gonna give us a good foundation to pull against. And now I'm just gonna take my scissors and kind of flare this out now. Guys, you can take a hairbrush, whatever. All right, that is it guys. We are gonna go ahead and make the line hole here. That way we can stick it through. And I'm not sure what the other guys are doing out there on YouTube as far as making the hole or whatever. I wasn't, I only watched a couple, but I didn't even get to this part. But what I'm gonna do is heat up a little screwdriver here. That way we can use this to actually punch it through that rope to make the hole. And just gonna get that nice and hot and then stick it through. Okay, you might have to wiggle it through just a little bit. And I'm twisting it, that way it doesn't melt straight to it. All right, made a little line hole. Yeah, camera's probably not gonna focus on it, but what you want to do is to make sure that that hole goes straight through without any fibers actually sticking down in it. And this one's actually a really clean pass through. So if you have to repeat and heat up the, the screwdriver again, 
You know, it's super easy to do. Most of the time I actually have to do that. And then once again, we're just gonna tie our braid straight to this. All right guys, this was our two different methods that we made our homemade rope lure for gar. This first one here is my preferred method where we actually make the loop and you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is pretty much melt and weld the two pieces together and that's it. And then you just flare out the skirt and you're going fishing. This one takes a little bit more time just because you have to melt the outside layer here and then make the line hole. But this also works. And like I said, these are the six inch models. This is about a four incher that I've been using. And you can see how messed up they get once you catch a fish on it. This is it guys. If you have any questions on how to make these or any suggestions, cause I, you know, there's a million ways to slice a cake, right? So. Uh, if you have any suggestions, put those in the comment box below and also let me know your experience with catching gar on rope lures. Okay, it's pretty fun. And, you know, stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and take these out and fish with them the next upcoming days. And stay tuned for those videos too. And I think you're going to enjoy it. Hopefully we get a lot of action. There we go. Shake your head, bud. Ooh, we got one. He's a little guy. <laughs> He's a shaking good. Look at that thing. <laughs> He's got that rope all tangled in there. So that's what we're looking for, is for them to do that. Guys, this thing is super strong, and look how teeny it is. This thing is freaking strong. I can't imagine a big one. We wouldn't be holding it like this. But you can see its mouth. Look how those little bitty teeth just get hung in that rope. Pretty cool stuff. All right, we're gonna get our fishing pliers and get this undone here. He's mad. He wants to eat something. Like that. A little spotted gar. Hopefully this is a good idea for you guys. And if you've never tried this before, go ahead and try it. I think I picked the rope up for like four bucks or something like that. I think that was even with tax. So it's very inexpensive. It's not gonna break the bank. And you know, it's something new. If you're just used to bass fishing, you haven't tried gar fishing, go ahead and give it a whirl. This is pretty cool, something Pretty cool to keep in your back pocket or whatever if you ever do decide to go gar fishing at any point. Uh, but yeah, these are the two options, guys, that I know of. And these are going to get you out on the water fishing for those gar and having that good time. And guys, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and stay tuned for those next fishing videos, guys. We're going to be catching some gar on these, and hopefully I'll have those uploaded in the next couple days. Thanks for watching.